All right, let's talk about uh, parsing JSON uh, with uh, Swift. And we're gonna pick on uh, this website for a little bit. This uh, newsapi.org, uh, you can see you just land right here on the front page and it starts showing you some JSON output uh, basically from these URLs over here. Now, the only thing that's missing is an API key. And uh, if you click on get API key, they give you an API key. You could also uh, look at the key that I'm using as well, but uh, this takes about two seconds uh, to get. And then actually what it does is it'll replace this part out with um, the API key that they gave you. Um, but uh, as you can see that regardless, they're still showing you uh, basically the output of the JSON, which is um, just four uh, articles over here. So you can see you can kind of fold that up and um, you know get an idea that, that pretty much the kind of top level thing that they're giving you right here is just a dictionary of with one key status equals okay. I guess it could also equal not okay. And then articles equaling basically an array of four articles over here, okay? So uh, that uh, that gives you an idea of the data that we are gonna um, sort through. So uh, let's go and do that. Oh, look at that. You can even fold that one up as well. Okay, well that adds a little bit of a twist to what we'll be doing. Um, so uh, let's switch over here to Xcode. We're gonna be using uh, Swift 4. And you can see that uh, here's the API key that, uh, that I got for the site. Um, I guess it's probably not a big deal to show it to you because, hey, whatever. Um, and uh, all right, so here's the uh, the full URL, okay? And again, that is just copied from right up top here, okay? And I'm gonna start you guys off um, with a bunch of the code already written for this. Um, basically, let's see if I can get it all in kind of one view here. I think I can. Okay, so this is the end of the function, all right? And then go ahead and pause the video and get just all of this copied in here. Uh, we're gonna be working in this little section right here, okay? Uh, these parts just have to do with uh, if there's an error, you know, didn't work for whatever reason. Uh, and then you don't actually have to include this dispatch to the um, main queue, although if you were gonna show something um, uh, graphically that indicated, oh, everything failed, you know, if you're gonna show some sort of uh, pop-up alert or something like that, uh, then um, then they do want you to kind of put things back up on the main queue and, and deal with it there. So you can see there's just two instances where there could be a problem, and then we've got our cases where there's no problem at all. We've actually got the data out of it. All right, so again, pause it. When you're ready, let's go ahead and start parsing through the data. Uh, you can see that uh, I'm creating a, a variable here. This is, a, this is gonna be a dictionary that's gonna contain the data that we get back. And uh, we've got as uh, string any over here. I think in most of the cases where you're parsing JSON, that's, uh, that's gonna be basically you're getting a, a, a dictionary back where, again, just to kind of repeat it, the, this is going to be your key. This is going to be your value, okay? So the value can be essentially anyth anything. It could be an array. It could be a number. It could be a string, whatever. But your keys are going to be strings over here. So it's very similar to what we uh, parse through pro property lists, if you guys have watched any of those videos. So again, you know, here's kind of our, our main dictionary. That's what we're getting back out of it. And then what we're going to do is, is kind of figure out, all right, what are the values, you know? Because again, those are the things that can be anything okay so once we get that uh, I think it is worth just printing out so do this go um, put in your four key value in our parsed data uh, let's just kind of spool through everything here we're gonna uh, put print and then do your quotes like this, and then uh, do a backslash and write in parentheses key, okay? And then do the same thing. Here, we'll put a little dash like that, value. And then, just so we can kind of clearly see what's going on, let's put some kind of empty space between every time it does this, okay? And what we could even do is, here, let's do, let's go one step further. Var i int is gonna equal zero. Uh, and then again, we'll just print out, all right, what i equals. So i plus, 
Okay, so every time we um, basically run through this for loop, we're gonna add one to the value of i, and that'll show up at the top. Of, uh, where we're printing things out, wait a couple lines, and it's gonna print out uh, each key and value, okay? So, you know, if, if for example, you didn't have something, uh, you know, as pretty looking as what this website gives us for kind of folding things up like that, if you're just, if you're just getting back the, um, well, something like this wait a sec there we go just paste it out so that that's our url right there so you might be looking at something like this and it's you're going what am i looking at over here this is crazy i can't make sense of it okay uh that's when doing something like what i just did over here makes a little bit more sense and you can see here's the output from it okay and again it uh well yeah number one it kind of formats it a little bit pretty around the eyes, but here's our first iteration. Okay, so that's where it printed out zero, then it gave us some lines, right? Then it printed out one. You'll notice that's that's as far as we get with it, okay? it um, That first kind of loop around. Uh, it shows a status that's equaling okay, and then here's articles, and uh, as we saw in Chrome a moment ago, uh, this is an array, okay? So then from here on out, the value is just an array with all the data for each one of those four articles. And if you were to just do like a quick little find, like for example, look at author, okay? You'll notice that this shows up four times because there's four, four uh, articles in here, right? There's author again, there's author again, and there's author again, and that's it. Okay, so that, that gives us a good idea of what we gotta deal with next, which is, of course, sorting through the, the actual article data. And hopefully, <laughs> let's go ahead and get rid of this. Hopefully, um, or you can just comment it out. How about we comment it out? We'll leave that much in there. Hopefully you follow me so far, because now we're, we're gonna get a little bit uh, more confusing, but hopefully not. All right, so what we want to do is um, is look for a key that equals articles, okay? All right, because that's, that's, that's what we want, right? So we just put in here, if key equals articles, okay? And then what we want is the value from that, all right? So again, we're iterating through keys, each with their corresponding value. Uh, what we need to do is make sure that value is of a particular type, okay? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna say, if let article array, okay? And remember, this is an array of dictionaries that we have over here. And let me just show it to you one more time. Okay, let me bring this back up. All right, oh, a little hard to see there. So, an array of dictionaries. You know, each one, each dictionary has a key with values in there, okay? And we've got four dictionaries from that. All right, so uh, if let article array, and then here's how we know that this is going to be an array of dictionaries. We put in here, there's the dictionary part of it, and then the fact that we have, sorry, the fact that we have uh, an opening and closing bracket outside of this part means that it's going to be an array of dictionaries, okay? So we're running a little test here. We're going to say if it's basically if we can create this article array equaling a value as, and then you can just copy this back out again. Okay. So if that succeeds, right, we can put in here print is array of dictionaries or dictionaries, right? Um, and a, I'd say it's probably a good idea to just run that right now, make sure that, uh, you know, that's exact, you know, you're getting the expected value out of that, okay, is array of dictionaries. Um, if you had no clue, you know, what, what was getting returned from you, then you could run another else, you could do like an else if statement over here and see, okay, is, is it, well, am I just getting back a dictionary here, you know, to do something like that. Um, so you just say, is, is dictionary at that point, right? Um, of course, though, you're, I don't think your JSON data is going to change just sporadically in terms of the format, right? So that you shouldn't have to do something like that. Basically, if you get it running, you know, first time around, it should be good for a while. Okay, um, now what we want to do is we want to um, go through every one of the dictionaries in the article array, okay? So we'd write for dict in article array, this can be anything you want, or dictionary, it doesn't matter. I'm just, I just kind of shorthand it to dict. And then um, 
So it makes it awkward for people listening to this. They go, what did he say? Uh, and then it's going to be four key value in dict. Um, and uh, and we're and again we're doing the whole we're iterating through more data okay just like we did over here we now say for key value in dict and at this point what we can do is test to see if this key equals a particular value for example URL right okay so uh, and then you could also do the same thing you could say it else if and it's okay to use else if statements here. So for example, author is another one, right? So let's, um, actually, let's do this. Let's print out the title and URL, okay? So we're just gonna print out uh, value, okay? And value, all right. And let's actually make it a little bit fancier. We'll say uh, title is, and then, Okay, so now let's see what we've got. So, so you can kind of get a better sense of everything in this for statement. Okay, and all right, so again, we got this printed out as array of dictionaries. Title is, okay, and then this looks correct, right? And then the URL is, right, to correspond to each other. Title is Apple, pushes HomePod. All right, there's the URL for that. Roadster, something about the Roadster. Oh, I actually watched this one. This was pretty cool. It goes pretty fast. Okay, so uh, yeah. The, the, and then really kind of it's just a matter of what, what are you going to do with this data now that you've got it into a palatable format, right? Um, you know, you could, um, you, you could uh, create a, so let's say um, uh, all URLs. <laughs> Okay, um, and then this would just be, uh, you know, uh, equals string. So this could be an array of only your URLs and do the same thing for the titles, all titles, right? And in which case, so you can come down here and you can write uh, all URLs dot append and then value as string, right? And of course, this would be all. Th oh, yeah, put self in there. Um, yeah, that. So that's you know something you could consider doing. I mean, you could um, also just um, make another. Uh, again, just just for holding on to the data, you know, you could just you know all um, article uh, dictionaries, dicks, whatever equals uh, again this could be a string array you know. so then come down here and if, you know so you could say oh. right um, so that way you know not self yeah okay so that way you know you could you do your parsing you know when the app first loads up or something like that and then you've got this data to tap into anywhere else you know in any other function um, you know whenever you need it uh, through the life of the app or at least until you reloaded this thing again uh, in which case I mean at which point you know let's say I don't know how often this data actually changes but let's just say you know you're pretty confident uh, it's gonna connect properly again <laughs> you know you just remove out all the all the existing uh, data that's inside of there, or actually, um, come to think of it, this is just gonna replace the data, okay? So you don't actually have to remove it all. Uh, but if you were gonna use these uh, URLs or, or uh, arrays containing those URLs, uh, because you're appending them over there, then in that case, you definitely want to remove everything prior, right? And then, then you can add back to it again. Um, so that's, uh, yep, that's that's how you could do that. Um, we did see in the, uh, just to kind of needless, needlessly go on here, uh, we did see a, uh, a another type of data in here, uh, I mean, another dictionary inside of 
uh, each one of those dictionaries. Uh, so again, that's just something you would, and I actually, this would be a good little practice for you is to just, um, you know, so if you want to test if key equals source, and then what you're going to want to do is um, basically try to cast the value as, again, a, a dictionary, okay? Uh, so I would say, yeah, see if you can do that on uh, your end. If you want to uh, pause the video, uh, pause it now. And I'll go ahead and write it. And let me just paste it in. So that's what this would look like. So um, you'd want to make sure that the um, the value actually was a dictionary over here. Okay. And uh, so source dict, uh, if that, uh, if we can create this variable as a dictionary, then you can go ahead and print out that, uh, that source dictionary in there. And then of course, you know, with this, if you need to iterate through it for key value in source dict, and then you can check if key equals um, their options in there were either ID or name, right? So then you just, again, kind of go down doing the same thing that you were doing before. And, uh, you know, you could print out the value from that as well, right? So anyway, that is how parsing through JSON works. Uh, I guess I'll slowly run down the code one more time. Pause it if you need to, and uh, hopefully that uh, makes sense.